Ron, you had a couple of chances there in the first half, but we weren't able to take. Do you think it could have been a different game if you had managed to get that first goal again? Uh, yeah, it's a game of football, right? It's won and lost in both boxes. And I think uh, tonight uh, probably shows that more than ever. Um, we weren't clinical in, in their box and, uh, you know, from the chance they had, and, you know, they had very few chances, they, they were clinical and they took theirs. Um, can I ask you about Kai True and his performances in the middle midfield have been really good this year? What do you made of his development? What, how does he take his game to the next level to be a, a leading midfielder in the league? I think he already is. I think we need to start talking about him because uh, we rate him highly here. Um, maybe we're living under a rock, but I think he's been outstanding all season. And uh, we're disappointed tonight, but, uh, you know, Kai led that midfield again and, you know, was close to best on park, I thought. Um, in terms of the fatigue factor, was that a big factor today? I know you made a lot of changes in the second half, but is that the travel midweek and the three games in eight days, does that play a big part in the outcome? Well, that's the reality of the situation. You know, we that's, you know... I just said that before. <clears throat> it's no surprise. We, we we knew this schedule was what it was. We tried to plan for it as best as we could. And, uh, you know, we won't make it an excuse. We've lost the game tonight. We had enough chances not to lose the game. So whether that's fatigue or, or travel or, or whatever it may be, that's, um, you know, we're not going to point to that. Well, you're disappointed that you weren't able to secure Robbie Cruz. It doesn't seem like he's going to join you, but he was training for a long time. What, what can you tell us about that? I've got no comment on that. No comment on, it, on 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 any speculation on players. I'll just talk about the squad that I've got right now. I'm just really disappointed that we didn't get the result tonight. And just um, yeah, we just got to keep fighting. Got to keep looking to to build on on the early start. The last two games haven't been ideal, but uh, we just have to now bounce back against Melbourne City. What gives you confidence? You can. I mean, you've you've had some down patches in the past in other seasons, but I mean, this is just a couple of games. Um, do, do, you, do you believe you've got the squad that can still take you into that f finals position that you crave? We're right in the mix. We've got 15 points and, uh, you know, we'll probably end up out of the six this weekend, but we know we're close enough to go on a run. So uh, we're not panicked. We, um, like I said, you know, had results gone our way, we might have been sitting pretty up the top of the table, but we're not panicked. We're certainly uh, right in the mix and we're fighting for finals, no doubt about that. Um, speculation, obviously, about Ricky Denzaki and his uh, um, apparent move. Obviously, I'm not going to ask you to comment on that, but is that bringing need, a real need that uh, there's got to be uh, players that need to come in? Obviously, it's just numbers in the squad at the moment are starting to get a bit bare. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to coach the players that are available to me right now. And, and you know, anything about that speculation, I'll let the club make a comment on that later. Uh, but right now, I'm just focusing on the players I've got. I'm trying to coach to the best of my ability and we're trying to get results and um, and that's all we're doing. That's all we're focusing on. You know, like um, two games ago, we were going really well. Uh, we've had two losses. It's, it hurts. It's it's not what we wanted. But, you know, I've been more than happy with the players we've got. We've just got to keep working hard and uh, try and turn this around. Also, I saw uh, Louis Zabala come on, come into midfield partner, Kai Truon. Uh, is that something that, you know, be looking at? Obviously, we know that in his junior, in his academy days, he was more known as a midfielder, or is it a case of he's just continuing to fit in where he's required to? No, I think the long-term plan is to try and put him in there. I think uh, the pleasing thing for, for Louis, we discovered the position for him during COVID last year when he filled in that right back or that right wing back role for us. And uh, so that was uh, a positive that he was able to uh, learn another position. It obviously helps him as a footballer and his development. Uh, but we're really pleased with what he did there in the middle of the park today. So uh, he came on, made an impact and... Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll see more of Louis uh, as the season progresses. And finally, um, Jack Hingott's 250th A-League game. Um, how much does he mean to this club and to the dressing room? Uh, I said before, he's just a good professional, really good pro. He's, you know, you don't have that kind of longevity in your career unless you're, um, unless you're, you know, uh, spot on in everything you do on every day. The way he looks after himself, the way he turns up to training, and uh, you know, um, gives his all. Uh, looks after his body, like I said. You, you don't, if you don't do all the right things on and off the park, then you don't have the career he's had. So um, I'm really pleased with him. Just a, such a shame we couldn't uh, get the win for him tonight, which would have capped off, I guess, a, a, a memorable 250th.